Uh, can I take me uh, take me back to that uh, that interception there in the uh, late in the first half against Iowa? What did you see? Made you think you could jump the route, and what were you thinking when you're upside down trying to hold on to the ball? Um, first off, um, it was the play call. Coach called the great call, uh, just to help put me in position over there. Um, just read the quarterback, look at the quarterback, and um, just an instinct end up going over there, jumping the ball. Um, falling was crazy though. Uh, I stayed down for like a couple of seconds. I realized that I kind of landed straight on my neck, and I didn't know how to react at first. But then I realized also I had the ball, so. I had to get up quick and start celebrating. You face a different kind of quarterback this week in Daquan Finn, who can beat you with your arm, his arm and his legs. Uh, you know, as a defensive back and a cornerback, do you have to keep that in mind that, you know, in the back of your head, he might be taken off at some point and you got to drop your coverage and, and go try to get him? Um, yes, sir. Um, my main thing is to stay deep and worry about um, my man. Um, um, Toledo quarterback is a is a good quarterback. Um, he's mobile and he can throw, um, and he's very scared with his legs when he get out the pocket. Um, so we just got to keep him in contain and make sure that we know where he is at all times. A couple of new guys back there with you. Uh, obviously, Aaron Wofford's been on the team for a while, but now gets his chance after being, uh, you know, behind some really talented, you know, senior safeties. And then then Tate Halleck comes in. Um, what have you seen out of those two guys that that have helped the, the defensive backfield uh, be so productive? Um, they're growing every day. Um, I love those boys back there uh, with me um, as a team. Um, I know we all love them because they're growing, communicating as well, getting everybody involved. Um, so it's been amazing back there just to see them come along as the games continue to go. Um, they're, they're great back there, and I wish. And your, uh, your partner in crime there on the opposite side of the field, Deshaun Bustle, it's you know his really his first time getting in you know more than a couple of games. He, how excited have you been to see him out there? Oh, man, it's been exciting to see him every day. Um, each practice, we talk about it, um, how ready we is. So when the game times come, he can just go out there and beat him. Um, that's the main thing. Um, I'm just so proud of him and how far he's been coming. Uh, we worked together um, without him out here this year. I don't know what, I, what I'll be doing. So I'm just glad to have him. All right, thanks, Kanai. Thank you. Appreciate you. Blake, a uh, tough couple of games the last few weeks. Now we enter conference play against the defending MAC champions. Um, you know, what have you seen from the offense uh, that, that you've liked and, and where do you think there's uh, areas to grow? I've loved our togetherness and just the ability to grow after bad plays and create the explosive plays. And then we just got to make more plays and just have be more consistent throughout the game. Kind of a similar situation to last year, you know, you surprise put on scholarship before the opening game you got to see Jalen Buckley and, and a couple of other guys uh, get that this year you know having experienced that you know what does it mean for them and, and you know how happy were the guys to see that I mean everyone loves seeing that we've when you commit to being a walk-on you definitely dream of that moment happening and just seeing it happen for other guys is really cool and just seeing and then it gives me a chance to look back and see what I've done and how important that was to me and knowing that they've worked super hard and not everyone sees how much work they put in and same with like all the other walk-ons even if they don't get a scholarship that they've put the work in and everyone's just battling and working hard. Coach Kosh a couple weeks ago told the the ESPN announcers that it's hard to find uh, really good tight ends in in FCS so he's been excited to be able to to use you guys you know what have you thought of the offense so far? I love the offense um being able to split out to my high school days where I was a receiver, and I know Hence was a receiver too, just being able to go everywhere on the field is super cool with this new offense, but then also being able to get in the core and um, block some bigger guys and just impact the game in different ways is cool with a big tight end room and everyone that gets along. You get to do something pretty special and you got to participate in the wave there at Iowa you know did you the team talk about that beforehand and then and then what did it mean to be able to do that oh we talked about it before just explaining what it was and just how cool it is to be a part of uh, the only team that does that in the nation and just being a part of it and waving to the little kids shows like what we're doing isn't as big as what we think and there's other people doing much harder things than us that we don't even realize all right thanks Blake thank you have a good one